Hello, my name is Ayub Ahmed, and I'll be explaining the codes within the program with regards to the robot. So, if we start with the structure of the code, we can see here that we started with the compiler, which is that one. So, this tells the program, or let's say the Java program, that we will be dealing with Legos.nxt. NXT is the code name for the program we are going to be using to develop the robots. So, here we have uh, declared the name of the class as Lego which is what we decided to choose but being Java the class has to start with a capital letter now here we've got two motors that we're going to be using to drive the motor to drive the robot I mean and we selected drive V and drive C drive V is the left motor and drive C is the left motor right left and right motor so in this way we've also decided to use the touch sensor the light, uh, light sensor and the ultrasonic sensor the ultrasonic sensor is the sensor we use to determine the proximity of the distance at which the robot moves and then acts for any other action. The touch sensor is like the button that we press or the robot you know contact with another object to make it perform an action. And so is the light sensor. We can use the light sensor for one of the robots we've got we've decided to use one of the uh, light sensors to determine the the light of the track it's gonna be following which in this case is going to be three different grayscales and the grayscales we're going to have to calibrate the grayscales in this area I'm going to show you next as you can see the highlighter area we have chosen after measuring the uh, light grid scales of the track so the black threshold is going to be 30 the gray threshold is going to be 40 while the white threshold is going to be 50 but this isn't going to be permanent because the the, the, the height in between at which the uh, track contacts the light sensor can determine the change at which the grayscales increase or decrease so what i mean is in this case the black uh, threshold could increase to like 40 if the distance or should i say the height between the track and the light sensor you know contact each other the, the, the height in between those sections increase but if the height it reduces it's going to be 40 if the height increases it's going to be 50. so depending on how stable the structure of the robot and the model is that's going to determine what we're going to use here but for now for demonstration purposes we're going to use 40 40 50. but let's change this one to 30. so we have a nice round numbers right we've also selected the sound we're going to be using when it starts this is one and then when the program stops this one. right if i quickly take you to the bottom of the program you see where we actually applied the sound to the program which is at the end here so one is going to be starting the program and the other one is going to be ending the program which is exiting the program select here so this is going to be written on the LCD screen of the robot to show that it's exiting the program
Right, we're gonna start from the floodlights. Here we've got floodlights set to true, which means it's gonna display this output of drawing the floodlight uh, values. So we've got, we're gonna have a light percentage, then whatever the floodlight value is when we place the light sensor on top of the track which is the grayscale we spoke about earlier on right so we're gonna start the program by pressing the right button on the program which is gonna be on the Lego buttons in front of the panel and it could be also which is the right button to press to press the right button which is to start which means when you press the right button on the program it starts the program automatically and from here we've got our first loop which is the exclamation button for the right button which means when it's pressed then it starts displaying the values of the track which is the grayscales and also we've got here if we want to interrupt the process of the line following program which is this one we can press the stop uh, button on the panel which is going to stop the program and exit it from the demo which is the, which is this one if you see the earlier on we stated here that uh, we're going to play a, start, a sound to to show that the program is starting and the sound to show that the program is exiting from the from the from the system right if you go back up we have the program here stating the values which we want the sensor which is the ultrasonic sensor to be so we're going to set the variables for the ultrasonic to be u sonic which we have stated here, we've uh, defined that up here as U Sonic, ultrasonic sensor, sonic sensor. So we've stated the variable as U Sonic. So if we go back down there, we've got here U Sonic equal U Sonic dot get distance, which means in the process of running the program, the Sonic gets the distance from the robots and the obstacle or wall nearby that's going to eat to next but when it gets the distance it then displays the distance on the lcd screen of the robot and we've decided to use uh, 40 which means when the uh, ultrasonic is greater than 40 the distance in centimeters so when it's greater than 40, it stops motor B and motor C, which in this case is the motor at the right, left and at the right. So it stops that, clears the LCD screen, then draws the ultrasonic and the distance. Then it's now forwards the A, which is the one that rotates the hand at which it hits the ball. That's the root, that's the motor A. Now it sets it to sleep for five, which is I guess five seconds it sleeps for. Then it stops the motor A, the, the rotating motor, for kicking the ball. Then it moves forwards, and at the end of this process, it stops and then shuts down the motor permanently. Right here we've got else if which is a, a sort of like a if statement we've got here the first if we've got here says that if the ultrasonic is greater than 40 the distance between the robot and the obstruction in, in front of the in front of the robot if it's greater than 50 then it stops performs this action but We've also stated up here that the touch sensor variable is going to be called touch. So we've now put that into use down here called 
the obstruction because we've set a uh, 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 LCD warning to the user that it, there is an obstruction so it's either the ultrasonic or the touch so that then displays an obstruction warning on the screen and the value of the obstruction on the screen so that's all we've got for down for this part join me for the next part where we're going to be talking about more floodlights and most importantly the tracks for the grayscales thank you